All right. So we are live here on Facebook. Let's do this. This is a 16 by 20 inches oil and on, on, it's gonna be an oil and canvas, on stretch canvas. We're gonna do some trees. We're gonna do a little, a little landscape here. So we're gonna start out some, just a couple of lines, a few little lines here and there. Let's see what this means. Just for fun. Okay. There's one tree, one tree trunk. There's another one over here. I'm gonna do. There we go. There's gonna be another one right here next to it. Okay. There we go. Look at that. And look at this. Now back here we're gonna do a little bit of that. Very simple. I'm gonna get a wider brush. People on the beach, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna get a wider brush and and just kind of do this. A little bit of that brush in here. Look at that. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Very simple. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to add white to my color and to kind of emphasize here that I got some uh, that I got some light up here right, that it's hitting it. It's a little lighter. To give it sort of a little esfumato um, effect, right? Smoky. So it's, it's a it's a fancy. Uh, I think it's an Italian word or maybe Latin. Uh, either way, around the same place. Um, and it just means smokiness. You're painting in a, in a, in a with a very wide brush and you're just kind of doing some very smoky stuff around it okay look at that you give it the impression that it's a little foggy this is very uh very uh common in tonalist paintings the tonalist style the tonalist tradition of painting Super simple. You see? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my palette knife and I'm going to go behind those trees with a light yellow, greenish yellow. Okay, right here, look. Boom. 
Very beautiful, very simple. Same thing right here. And let's put some, let's bring some of those colors in there too. Look. I'm going to get a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and start introducing it in this area of the landscape. This is a very pastoral, almost uh, tonalist type of painting. Look at that. B E A beautiful. It's a beautiful little painting. Well, not too little. It's a 16 by 20 inches. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some put some water right here, like a little river, little river bank. And but I'm going to gray it down. I'm going to tone it down so that it's not just so blue, blue, blue that that uh, we want to stay within the same uh, style. A little bit gray to have that tonalist effect, so that when we do put blue, you can really see the blue. Almost romantic. I'm going to get a smaller brush here and I'm going to go in there to put some more water. Look at that. Very simple. There we go. Got some on that tree. It's okay. We can take it. We can take it off. I'm gonna keep working on the trees, anyways. Very simple stuff. Hope you are all having a wonderful evening and I hope you have a, a great weekend 4th of July beautiful Now what I'm going to do is introduce a wider brush on top of there. Okay, now look at this.
Look at that. This is almost white, very, very light. This, this area is right here. Of course, white in a painting is almost non-existent. Um, it's just a, an, an optical illusion. You never paint, you never use white on a painting, really, uh, because it's just it's just light. Right? So there's no, you can't, you, you need you need depth and, and you need shades in order to make your painting. And so, so you need lots of variants. I am. I'm using. I'm using walnut oil as a medium. Look at that. E E A beautiful. Very simple. Almost like a like a little paint by numbers. Hey, what's up, Jay? Good to see you here, man. So, very, very simple, and try to make it as effective as I can using the tools that I have at hand. Look at that. And so now when we put some blue on that water, okay, because the, the, the water is gray, but if we put some blue on there, um, it'll, be, it'll be very noticeable. Hope you can see it there on the camera. Look. <laughs> they should make those again paint my numbers totally you see very very simple Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate that. And so, I'm gonna make a a, a couple of little uh, what are they called arrangements here? I guess I don't, I don't really call them details because my painting doesn't really have details. If you've noticed, it, it's more like a like a little abstract arrangement happening look at that how beautiful is that back end of the brush this is just for a little drama okay I'm not always trying to 
paint something exactly the way it is. I'm, I'm, and I'm never trying to paint something exactly the way it is. I'm always looking to do some drama in there. I'm very dramatic when it comes to my paintings. And, and we can even put a, a couple of people there. We can put a couple of people right here next to the, next to the river. Look how, look how we're going to do that. Uh, let's do a close-up. That way you can see what I'm going to do right here with the people. There you go, right there. Look. Very, very simple. A couple of lonely pedestrians. Well, not so lonely because they're... See, it's, it's like a it's like a little head and then mass and then some legs or a skirt or whatever you want or whatever clothes people use and then you can dress them up so to dress them up I like to use a wider brush okay you can dress them up Put some clothes. This one's gonna have a, a white shirt, maybe. Let's give this one something reddish, orange. Blue. It's super simple. They could be looking this way too. You just have to paint their faces. You have to put something on their faces. They could be looking sideways, but I, I sort of have a little style down already. And so, so that's how I do them. A little thing that kind of works for me already. And then we can give them some, uh, we gotta anchor them, right? We don't have to, but we can. And what does that mean? Uh, a little bit of, a little bit of shadow down there. Or they're not floating. Or they're not levitating, and then and then it would be really creepy if they're levitating. Unless they're three magicians, it would be very very creepy. There we go. They're just kind of kicking it there. You can put more emphasis if you want on certain areas. And there it is. See, very, very simple. Something that I like to do is I like to put a very rare color, okay, uh, in my paintings that almost looks like it's not gonna, it's not gonna show up anywhere else. And it doesn't really mean anything. It could be like a, a, a an old barn or or it could just be, this is something that I learned from watching, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, the British artist, uh, the romantic British artist, what's his name? Turner. I think he's British, if I'm not mistaken. So this absolutely makes no sense right here, unless you make a story about it. But what it does is that it gives the, the painting, it gives the painting a little twist. Yeah. And it's that simple. That's it. 
and like we could keep going and, and going and going like the little energizer the energizer uh, bunny but but it's that simple really at the end of it you see we have that red right there that could mean I don't know I have no idea what that could mean but it goes with the painting because it gives you a point uh, a very strong point of interest it, it, it that could hover between the people that are there that have we have no idea what what they're doing and the red and they and they're not really competing with each other and if you see one of the things that I did it, I did a I did the opposite of what it's called an S an S composition it's more like a Z right look see it's a very nice composition so there it is my friends I hope you enjoy this uh, little segment of this little painting uh, by the way I am offering paintings this size uh, for commission so anyone out there interested in a commission let me know this is a 16 by 20 oil and canvas the commission usually goes for twelve hundred dollars but from time to time I make them available only to 10 people 10 5 5 for two hundred and fifty dollars a piece so there it is thank you so much thank you so much Raven thank you so much everybody thank you Vicky Anna Bruce Jay Jay my man thank you so much Noel Kathy Bobby thank you thank you Vicky and Deborah thank you so much everybody for joining me take care and I will talk to you guys soon bye bye